What is up guys? Shitty coming to you again with another video here. I know it's been a while, um, but obviously with Vanguard coming up, I did say I would be a little more involved in the uh, process of describing the game, playing the game, and going over it. Um, so today, obviously a ton of information got released, including the day one launch and the season one launch info. And as you can see on this roadmap, before we go into the actual article, which I'll open up, we obviously on day one are going to get the campaign for Vanguard, which will cover four fronts in the war. Uh, we have the next chapter of the Dark Aether. Um, also, as you can see below, uh, free preseason mm -hmm. content. Um, a, l a little weird. I guess we get shipment here in November, and then Warzone, there's a limited time event for uh, last days of Verdansk. But uh, the number one thing I want you to look at as a Call of Duty fan is look at the bottom left of the upper left square. Multiplayer. As Sledgehammer was known for in World War II, this is a monster addition to the franchise, having 20 maps at launch with new game modes as well. Um, what I'm really hoping for, at least from what we saw in the beta with all the 8v8 and the 10v10 maps... What I really want to see how much they have of the 6v6. Because those other maps, it just feels like there's a lot... Uh, too much going on for a Call of Duty map. It's, uh, it, it, it's gone away from the traditional uh, 6v6 or mm -hmm. even 5v5. So, um, then also in the upper right, we have some stuff for Vanguard. New zombies updates, new weapons and gear. Mm -hmm. uh, December 2nd seems to be a prevalent date, which we'll see here when we go to the Warzone side. We have the brand new map, Caldera, which I'm assuming is the new Warzone map, or, as you see the little thing down here, it says Vehicle or uh, Vanguard Royale. Maybe it's its own Battle Royale, or it's the new map. Well, I'm gonna we're going to look in the article, we're going to see what it is, but uh, Caldera may be the new map for uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Um, we also are going to get a brand new Rebirth Island map, which will be cool. Um, and obviously the integration date says December 2nd. So that seems that we're going to, we're going to see if that's, uh, if that's what the primary focus is. So let me back out here. Let me go to the article. By the way, this article is from Call of Duty themselves. Welcome to COD season. Vanguard begins a massive year of all the new Call of Duty content. We're dropping everything you need to know about launch and the road to season one. So we're going to open up the article now. And let's see. Okay, Call of Duty Vanguard begins a massive year of content. Everything you need to know about launch and the road to season one. Mm -hmm. 12 operators, 20 multiplayer maps. Mm -hmm. Shipment, obviously, is available on launch. Um, season one begins on December 2nd. Uh, when Caldera arrives in Call of Duty Warzone Pacific and so much more. So, it looks like Caldera is officially the war new Warzone map. I'll make a video separate to that covering uh, Warzone specifically. Because it might bring back a little interest. Um, so, yeah. So, let's see. Rise on every front. Call of Duty's year content. Okay. It portrays World War II like never before. Um, fan favorite map shipment. Okay. They also have the new Ricochet anti-cheat, which I guess we'll just have to wait and see if it's good or not. I, we don't really have anything to go based on. Obviously, we obviously went over that. Um, oh, here we go. This is good info. Preloading date, actually, October 28th. That, that's today. So, I'm pretty sure you guys can go... Oh, no, no, no. That's right. I saw it. Uh, I don't know if the time's on here. 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight, you guys will be able to pre-download the game. Um, they're saying it's nowhere near the size of the last two Call of Duties, so I'm going to assume the other ones were about 100, so I'm going to say this might be about 60, 70, which not bad. Run it overnight. Let Put your thing on. Put your console in rest mode. Let it go. Um, let's see, epic experiences on all fronts. Yes, we talked about that. November 5th to December 2nd, preseason. Um, Vanguard tiers on Black Ops Cold War. I don't know why that would matter. Then on November 17th, pre prepare to ship to a new fan fit. Prepare to ship. Oh, okay, so fan favorite map. That might be shipment. 
but that's weird that it's not like they call it pre uh, pre availability and then they do that which I don't completely understand. Uh, let's see. November 18th, Operation Flashback and Warzone. Okay, so last days of Verdansk. November, December 1st. Okay, so here we go. December 2nd. We will get... Vanguard gets a new multi, gets new multiplayer maps. 24 hours of access to Call of Duty Warzone Pacific and more to kick off Season 1. All players can enjoy a new Battle Pass system and two free functional weapons. Uh, oh, and the Ricochet Anti-Cheat releases... It, it rolls out then as well. Um, clear your schedule, blah, 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 birth of special forces, don't really want to cover that, zombies, um, I know a lot of you are interested in zombies, uh, mm -hmm. let's see, dear, okay, I'm not really gonna go over zombies, guys, cause you know I don't really play that, but for y'all, I will leave, I'll drop the link in the description of the video to cover that, um, Okay, obviously the new the modes that are coming out free for all TDM, kill confirmed, Dom, S and D, hardpoint, patrol. That's oh, I forget what games that that's from. That might be from Cold War. Uh, competitive standard. Okay, so additional modes including two newer ones that recently became a competitive standard and a small team tactical mainstay, respectively, should be a following launch. These core modes can be played across sixteen maps. Learn about this. Fight across five contents by clicking left and right through the carousel below. Battle of Berlin. Okay, so that's a battlefield map almost. Bocage. I don't know. North France. This looks like a World War II map. Um, the one in the trenches with where fuckers used fire shotguns nonstop. Okay, this one looks cool. Castle, shell from a distance. That looks pretty dope. Okay, Das Haas. That literally just looks like a... Uh... Oh, are these just the um, the maps that we played on um, the beta? Nah, I don't think so. And then Decoy, which is like a, a fake town. Demyansk. Ooh, I like this. This looks like a forest... Winter, okay, I'm, a des desert, okay, I'm art, we got a lot of, like, I don't know how to describe it, but we got multiple maps from, like, games, like, this feels like CSGO, where we get some maps for, that look like Battlefield maps, maybe the map design's actually halfway decent, we get Dome, um, that's hard to call a map Dome after, what, I think it was Modern Warfare 3, I don't really think you can replace the real Dome. Eagle's Nest looks pretty dope. Gavudu. Hotel Royale, obviously, like World War II. Numa, Numa Numa, okay. That looks like an open field one. Oasis. Red Star. We already played Red Star. Sub. Ooh, Sub Pens. Underground, okay. Tuscan, Cool. And back to Battle of Berlin. So that's all the maps. Champion Hill. Um, I'm not really going to cover that. Play your way. From the standard multiplayer experience to chaotic battles on an epic scale, players can choose from the combat pacing options with quick play. Or set their filter to all. Okay, so these are what we were talking about. So tactical is 12v12. Assault is 7v7 to 8v, 18v18, 8v8 to 24, ugh. So I don't know which one is 6v6. Oh, okay, tactical. So pacing always has a 7 player maximum. Okay, so I'm probably going to be running tactical most of the season just because unless it doesn't give full access to all maps, I'm hoping that all these game modes are in every map, but we'll see. Um, There's your operators. Don't really care about that. Uh, over three dozen weapons. Customize 200 unique weapons. We got the Thompson. Oh, I'm not going to go through all the weapons. I'll do another video on that. Go through all the weapons. Um, okay. There, then there's just a lot of extra stuff, uh, in here. Uh, weapon, more, more detailed stuff that I don't really think we need to cover. I might make another video if there's enough, but I'll keep going through this. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all stopping in here. I know it's been a while. I'm going to try and 
pick up the Vanguard content, be streaming almost every day if I can, uh, make videos on updates, and I will try and keep you guys informed. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping in. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Later.